Good afternoon, Woodwind Tech students. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe, enjoying hanging out with your families as you're getting used to this new online system of learning. I wanted to provide you, similar to clarinet, a easy way to remember how to troubleshoot basic tone production issues with beginning flute players. Similar to reef, we have LAPF. It doesn't flow off the tongue as easily, but LAPF is the system that I use to troubleshoot. L stands for lip placement. By the way, you're gonna to need to know all of this on the test. Lip placement. You want to ensure that the embouchure hole is centered with the face and the lip. So make sure it's not off to the side. The second thing you wanna do is make sure that the mucousy line here at the end of your lip where it kind of becomes your regular skin, that is lined up with the bottom of the embouchure hole. So whenever you're dealing with embouchure issues and lip placement, always reset and see if you can find that place where the line meets up. All right. This should result in a one quarter to one third of the embouchure hole being covered by the lip depending on the size of your lower lip. Next, air. No, actually, it's aperture size. You would think A stands for air, but no. Aperture size. One of the biggest problems of flute players, beginning flute players, is that their aperture size is too large. And I'm assuming a lot of you have that as well. So some of the things you can do to make sure that you have a focused airstream is the paper game. You can try, try that, see how long they can get the piece of paper to stay on the wall, and even for longer, uh, focusing uh, and shrinking the size of the aperture, focusing the air. The other thing that you can do is utilize a mirror. A mirror will give you a great opportunity to see the size of the aperture, so you can see, this would be too large, right? A little bit smaller. I don't claim to be a flute player, but my aperture size is, eh, it's all right. Anyway, you can also utilize the technique of the triangle of condensation. I'll try and demonstrate this for you. I don't know how well you could see that, but there was, well, you can see that there's a little bit of moisture there, right? It's not much of a triangle. Again, my aperture size is not that great, but you can see if it's very, very wide, obviously it's going to, you're gonna to have too wide of an aperture size. And so you wanna make that a little bit smaller. Um, the next is D, stands for direction of air. Sometimes students are having, have a difficult time figuring out the direction of air either too far in or too far over the uh, embouchure or the strike plate to create the sound necessary for the octave that they're playing in. So if the direction of air is incorrect, you can bear your right or left forearm and do the exercise where you're painting with your air so that you begin to learn control of the direction of air so that you can manipulate that to hopefully creating a successful flute uh, sound in the first, second, third octave. So, um, lastly, fingers, F fingers, not phalanges, because you taught me that it starts with a P. So anyway, phalanges, their fingers might be incorrect. You wanna check and make sure that the hand placement is correct. Their fingers are relaxed, be mindful of the thumb not sticking out too far and that they're actually fingering the correct note. If you have open, tone, uh, open hole flutes, uh, make sure that the student is actually covering those. Remember if they have small fingers or they're beginners, they probably shouldn't be playing on an open hole flute or they should have plugs in them. The last thing which I don't have in lap is the possibility of the instrument not actually functioning. So um, if that's the case, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to take the instrument to the repair shop um, or teach them proper care and maintenance so the instrument is not in an unplayable condition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. I'll try and be a little bit more creative in the next one. Um, and please stay healthy and safe and have a great weekend.